to be out there understanding how another long-lived, intelligent social species communicates is, is a beautiful thing to do. They are animals that produce hundreds of different sounds, and I've spent the last 17 years trying to understand their hello. In the Arctic, we obtained preliminary evidence that belugas have acoustic name tags of sort. So they make sounds that they use to identify themselves to others. Beluga whales use sound for pretty much every aspect of their lives. So having an acoustic way to identify themselves to the group makes a lot of sense. So the question is really, do beluga whales swim around broadcasting their own name tag, their own identity, and we think that they do. That is essentially what we're continuing to explore in the St. Lawrence. This year, we were a team of four women. Some days, the beluga were right there, um, and some days, we just waited the whole day, and there were no beluga, and you just sit there and wait, and then you undo everything and, and uh, get back to camp, which takes another two hours. Patience is a big aspect of our work. <laughs> Neo is uh, a boy. Uh, he's about 15 years old. He's been photo identified for several years now, so he's well known in the population. And he is a different kind of male because he's deformed. Uh, he has a bit of a, a scoliosis, and it makes him a uh, target of male aggression sometimes. So he prefers the company of girls, which is not very usual for males. And he often hangs out by himself as well. Uh, so one great day, we had been on the research tower for several hours and nothing had happened. There were no whales in the area. And we see this lonely whale coming into the bay. And sure enough, it was Neo, he's, he's unmistakable. Then we thought, he's gonna start calling. If you are a beluga and you're coming into a bay where you always find companions, you're going to make your contact call. And sure enough, he started calling. So we couldn't wait to get back to the lab and analyze his call in a spectrogram to see if, if the call contained a signature, and it did. So we now know how to identify Neo acoustically. In the St. Lawrence, uh, belugas are endangered, and uh, in the presence of, of high levels of noise, mums and calves may not hear each other. Giving these whales their space is incredibly important. Designing quiet sanctuaries uh, where the whales are basically away from human activities is also really important. I think that I get to study the absolutely most fascinating thing in the world. We share our world with these species, or they share their world with us. <laughs> <laughs>